Let's sketch a snowflake with a fun take on a wintry self-portrait. Hey boys and girls, Miss Overstreet here, and this week we are focusing on winter art in the classroom. And starting off our week, we will be creating a very sweet little self-portrait of you looking up and catching a snowflake in your mouth. So, steps for this are very easy, so grab your paper, your pencil, and follow along. So, your first step in creating this is drawing the shape of your face, and we're gonna be using an oval or a circle, and you wanna make sure you draw it a pretty good size. So I'm gonna be starting right about here, and drawing a nice big oval shape that fills up a good portion of the top part of my paper. So the next step is we're going to be drawing in our nose and I'm going to be using an upside down letter U for that. So starting at the very top I'm just going to draw my little nose looking up at the sky. My mouth will be next and I'm also going to be using an oval for that. So inside I'm going to draw an oval shape. Now you can make it bigger and you can see this one is a little bigger so size is totally up to you. A line across the top and of course a few lines inside. I always start in the middle and then one, two on that side, one, two on this side. For my tongue I'm going to be using the top of a heart to create that. So I'm going to find the middle of my mouth and draw one line going that way one line going that way and you can see it's starting to kind of come together. My ears will be next. I need two ears. I'm going to use a backwards letter C. So one, two. I'm going to add my scarf in next and you can see I did a little Duke inspired scarf on mine using my blue and gold. So I'm going to add a little half circle on the side of my neck to start that. Then I'm going to go down and connect it right in, just like that. If you want stripes in your scarf, you can kind of go in and add one, two lines in there. You could do a zigzag line or a wavy line and change it up a little bit too. I'm going to add the pieces of my scarf kind of blowing in the wind. So going back to my little half circle, I'm going to draw one line off my paper going that way, another line this way, and then another line going like that. And you can change the direction of those lines. That's just where I placed in mine. So what you're going to need to do next is the arms, and we're going to have two lines coming down. So starting below my scarf, I'm going to do one and two. I'm going to go in just a little bit and then I want to go up. And I'm not going back up all the way. I want to make sure I stop and leave a little bit of space there. And then you can probably guess my next step. I'm just drawing two lines going down right off my paper. So two lines going down right off my paper just like that. So what I'm going to add next is my mittens, and I'm going to be using a large letter J and a small letter J placed together. So starting at the end of my mittens, I'm going to do my letter J shape, my letter J shape, and then a little baby letter J on that side connecting them, and my mittens are done as well. If you want to add in a design on your shirt, you can add that in too. Maybe my shirt will say, I'm sure you can maybe guess. I'm going to have a little Duke shirt on, but you can place anything in your shirt. You could do a heart, I have a little teddy bear, a lightning bolt, some of the kids have done. You could do buttons, stripes, I mean the list goes on. So we're almost done. We do need to add in some hair. Now for my boys, you're really not going to see too much of your hair if you're looking up at the sky. So all you would have to do is just draw a few lines in or a zigzag line or a wavy line depending on your hair. For my girls, 
all you really need is a line that's going down and either stopping you know past your ears and going in or going to your shoulders so I'm going to start here I'm going to draw a line going down to my shoulders starting here draw a line I want to make sure I stop not going through my scarf but stop and jump over and stopping at my shoulders you know I can add some lines in that to definitely make it look like hair but I'm done so the last part is your background. First step is putting a little line at the bottom to represent all that fluffy snow. And then our snowflakes are next, and my snowflakes are my favorite part. And we're gonna be using a plus sign, a letter X, and a letter V, and an O. And we're gonna put all these different things together to make our snowflakes. So you wanna start off with your plus sign. We're gonna go through it with a letter X, and then we're going to be using a letter V and an O as a pattern going across the top and around. So letter V, letter O, letter V, letter O, letter V, letter O, letter V, letter O. And we're going to keep adding in snowflakes wherever you have space. So start off with my plus sign, then my X. I'm going to change it up this time, and I'm just going to add in the letter V going around at the end. So those are two very simple ones. The next two are going to be a little bit more complex. So plus sign, X. I'm going to do two letter Vs this time. Get a little extra detail. And you can really do this however you want. Just think using that plus sign, using the letter X and the Vs and Os and come up with different patterns. Um, let's see, the most important snowflake is the one right in your mouth. So I want to go ahead and add that plus sign, add that letter X through the middle, and put that little V at the end. Keep this one really simple so I have my snowflake in. And what I'm going to do for the rest of this time is I'm just going to keep on adding in my snowflakes. Feel free to continue drawing with me, or you can go ahead and work independently in finishing yours. Thanks for following along with me today, and if you created one with me, please share at Miss O Art, Stu Art Studio. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. For more art tutorials, follow me at Miss O Art Studio.